there is a sense in which we are hardwired to see what still needs to be done. Hashem has hardwired our nerve net to focus on what's lacking. If we really focused on all the tikkun that had already been done, we'd look at it and think, you know, Hashem, give us a break, you know. So, so, so that's one level of things, is that there is a lot that's fixed. It's in store for us on the inner planes, and we're basically focused on what's left to do. And also our generation is really dealing with the dregs, like all the stuff that the previous generations didn't really transform. They just stuffed down and, you know, kind of made peace with and stuffed down and made peace with. So we're in the Igvata de Mashiach, the heels of Mashiach. We're in the heels of the larger stature of Tikkun. And that means that we're dealing with all the dregs. And that's our work, is to somehow bring light and consciousness into the dregs. First of all, it's impossible for any individual or any people, us as a Jewish people, to, to, to actualize our potential and to really complete our work without bringing everyone else with us. That's the model. There is, at least in the Jewish model, I don't know if this is going to go on the film, but at least in the Jewish model, there is an idea that, that Adam and Eve contain, the, the Talmud says that they span from the heavens to the earth and one end of the world to the other. They contain the entirety of reality within them. When they ate from the tree of knowledge, their, their stature shattered. And, and basically our work is to reconstitute this universe encompassing Adam. And the inner soul, from our perspective, our Kabbalah teaches that the inner soul core of this universe encompassing Adam is its Jewish component. And so the, um, you know, that's the, 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 the most conscious aspect of this universe encompassing Adam is its inner soul core and that's really kind of guiding the process. But like a body has feedback mechanism and, and the leg affects the brain and the brain affects the leg, so that is true in the larger world. But one of the ways of understanding that is that der, that Derech Eretz Kadma Torah, that good manners precedes the lofty Torah, is that there are certain things where the other peoples of the world are the vanguard, they precede the Torah and they teach us, like they give us tools, science, psychology, all those kinds of things. And there are other aspects where the Torah itself is the vanguard that has to kind of bring its ethical monotheism into the world and that's our mission. In the area of the Jewish mission is really to to spread the, the teachings of ethical monotheism to the world and, and the rest of the world has their mission that we benefit from.